It's match race day, March the 7th, 1953, at the Timaru Trotting Club meeting in New Zealand's South Island, and a vast crowd has turned out at the South Canterbury course today to see some of New Zealand's greatest paces in action. And the chief attraction on today's card is the mile match race to be run on this six furlong grass track from a standing start. The horses are just being brought into the birdcage to be paraded before the public prior to going out onto the track to do their preliminary before the race itself. Van Diemen just coming in, followed by the clerk of the course. Johnny Globe in the white bridle. Soen Gidaha. Burns Knight, holder of two world records. Johnny Globe, winner of over 20,000 pound in stakes and six free for alls. Van Diemen, winner of the 1951 New Zealand Trotting Cup with his owner, trainer, driver, C.C. Devine. Vedette on the inside, who's won over 25,000 pounds in stakes, and Soen Gitahar on the outside, a free-for-all winner and an Auckland Cup winner. Vedette with his trainer, driver, M. Holmes. Now, prior to the start, they're just coming into line for the mile match race from a, from a standing start and they're on the journey. And they come down at the end of 150 yards to the junction of the course proper and Johnny Globe from number four at the barrier and in the white bridle will take over the lead. Johnny Globe goes into the lead, followed then by Vedette on the inside with Burns Knight on the outside. So and Gitahara length away and two lengths further back we have Van Diemen. Now, down at the end of a furlong, Johnny Globe, he bowls along in front, Vedette in second place, and Burns Knight on the outside is starting to drift back towards the rear. And after pacing the first two furlongs in 30 seconds, Johnny Globe goes on to pace the half mile in one, two, and two fifths and lead the field down the back. Now round the turn for home and Johnny Globe is still the leader. Johnny Globe leads the field by four lengths at the moment from Vedette on the inside. So and get a half further out and Van Diemen is just putting in an appearance down on the inner. But they come down now with just on half a furlong to go and Johnny Globe's lead is an unassailable one and he will win this match race from a standing start on this grass track in the time of two, four and three fifths for the mile. Van Diemen will be second and Vedette third and Johnny Globe returns to the birdcage to receive the plaudits of this large crowd. And now on to Addington, Christchurch, New Zealand Cup Day, November the 11th, 1952, the home of New Zealand's light harness sport, with its six furlong clay track, one of the best tracks in the world. This is the track with the world records of Highland Fling, 4.10 and 3 fifths for two miles, Trusty Scott, 2.52 and a fifth for a mile and three furlongs. Burns Knight, 3.22 for a mile and five, and 2.2 two and 3 fifths for one mile, and Ripcord the Unhoppled Trotter, 2.56 and 3 fifths for a mile and three furlongs. This is where all these world's records have been made on this six furlongs clay track. Now the New Zealand Trotting Cup field, the big race of the year on the light harness calendar, is just walking round now in the birdcage out in front of the steward stand just about to come out on the track to be paraded before the vast crowd prior to doing their preliminaries. Blue Mist, Murano, Pleasant Smile, Soen Gidaha, Tactician in the Shadow Blind, Tamaru, Mobile Globe, Burns Knight, Johnny Globe in the White Bridle, Maori Home in the White Cap, and Van Diemen. A tremendous crowd is here at Addington today to witness this great race and this great field of paces do battle for the honour of winning the Gold Cup for the value of £100 and the winning stake of £4,875. They're parading at the start. The track is heavy owing to rain which fell in Christchurch two days before the meeting and the night before the race itself. Now they're just being lined up at the two mile start. They're nearly ready to go. This time and Soen Gidahar in the purple and gold stripes is being hurried out in the lead, followed then by Pleasant Smile in the shadow blind, and then White Angel is just in behind these. Mobile Globe in the middle, Tactician on the outer, Murano is broken up and drifted back towards the rear, and at the end of a furlong, Soen Gidahar is the leader from Pleasant Smile, and then White Angel and Tamaru. Young Charles also broke up and ruined his chances, and round the turn into the straight, and they've got now 
with just over a mile and five furlongs to go. Past the pack stands, they reach the judges' box for the first time, and Pleasant Smile is the leader, followed by Soren Gidahar and then White Angel. In behind these, we have Burns Knight and Tactician. Round the showgrounds turn, Pleasant Smile, the Auckland champion, is still the leader, followed by Soren Gidahar, and as they pass the mile and a quarter post, Pleasant Smile still leads the field. Now they've gone past the mile and they reach the turn into the straight for the second time. They've got seven furlongs to go and Tamaru has ranged up on the outside of the leader and as they reach the judges' box with a round to go, it'll be Pleasant Smile on the inside and Tamaru on the outside, closely attended then by Blue Mist and Mobile Globe together, White Angel alongside of these. Tactician is further out and right on the outside of the field. Van Diemen's back on the inside. Young Charles and Vedetta at the rear. Down past the back and they reach the three furlong post and Mobile Globe goes for a run on the inside but Tactician is moving round on the outer. And with two and a half to go, Tactician goes into the lead followed then by Mobile Globe. Maori Home races up alongside of these two as they swing for home and these three, they straighten up for the run home at the head of the field but Mobile Globe asserts its superiority and wins followed then by Tactician. Then we have Van Diemen and Maori Home. Mobile Globe wins the New Zealand Trotting Cup of 1952. Raced by Messrs J. Finley and C. Smith, trained and driven by N. L. Burkett of Yaldhurst, Mobile Globe drew number one on the 12-yard mark and raced the two-mile journey on a heavy track in 4.26 and two-fifths, running four and five sulky widths out from the fence all the time. Now Mobile Globe leads this field back into the birdcage and in a moment the presentation of the garland of flowers will take place. Mobile Globe, now some of the officials, a section of the vast crowd that will witness the presentation. And the presentation speech will be made by the President of the New Zealand Metropolitan Trotting Club, Mr. C. E. Hoy. The Gold Cup, valued at £100, which goes with the winning stake. Now the presentation. Mrs. Hoy congratulates Mr. C. Smith and Mr. Finley just about to receive congratulations from Mr. Hoy, the winning partnership. Mr. Smith replies to Mr. Hoy. Mobile Globe. The trainer driver, N. L. Burkett, in the black and gold hoops, and Mobile Globe. It's decorated with a garland of flowers and is photographed with the winning connections, the reigning champion of the day.